just want to demo this uh, simulator thing. Uh, I didn't put much work into this. This was under an hour of work. I prototyped this before. Uh, here's the video I did where I imported the entire thing. This time I imported the parts individually, although it's still not as um, terse, is that the word, as you'd like, because uh, each leg, uh, if you look at the model here, each leg has uh, one, two, three joints, so you'd have to import like the this as a unit. Uh, actually, no, you just import this part because this is what moves and it rotates about this axis. Uh, and that's hard. Um, so, anyway, so imagine I'm hosting these files on a Pi local. That's what the 192 is. So, imagine you got a bunch of these parts and you know, like, the specific axes to work with, then you can animate them. This is like a lazy brute force way. You would make a looper for this, but I just wanted to demonstrate that you can do this, although it would be hard. Like a, Not hard, it takes a lot of work steps. You'll see this leg get animated. So the axis here is not set. It's based on this green, so it, uh, I believe so. Rotate Y, that's probably around the y-axis anyway so yeah that's how you would make a simulator thing that actually takes values and moves the legs uh, it needs to be polished but I'm just oh my God. yeah that's the hard thing is the camera control you hold shift to pan it hold left click to rotate Scroll to zoom. Yeah. Anyway. So then what would happen is you'd have this little widget thing and you'd embed it in a, an interface where you'd have other inputs. But it would take a bit of work to get this thing fully abstracted where you don't have to manually program anything. Or manually uh, render it too, but it's cool. It's possible. 